to figure out what the sign of a value is, you figure out where it is in the unit circle and you project it and see where it lands on the, in the y axis. If the projection is anywhere up here, the sign is a positive number. If you are down here and you do a projection on the y axis, then the y axis is negative and you'll always get negative signs. Anybody over on the right hand side, the positive x-axis, any of these angles will give me projections that are positive, which means the cosines will be positive. And over here, the cosines will always be negative for all of these angles, all the way over here, because any projection from down below or up above is going to land over here. So the secret sauce of figuring out what the sine or the cosine is of any of these angles around the unit circle is to figure out the reference angle first. Because if I know the reference angle here is 30 degrees, and I already know what the sine and cosine of 30 degrees is from quadrant one, but in the other quadrants, the sine and cosine will have the same numbers, but different signs. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.